Hello friends, today I will discuss the viva questions based on the diffraction grating experiment. I am Dr. Mukesh Chandimri. Now the objective of this experiment is to determine the wavelength of different lines of mercury by plane transmission grating and we need the diffraction grating spectrometer and mercury lamp for white light source and this is the experimental arrangement from the source white light is passed through the grating using the collimeter uh, and then we get and the in center we will get the bright uh, that is zeroth order and then we will get first order second order spectra on both side of this spectrometer and the principle of this experiment is based on the diffraction of light and the formula used uh, is from the grating equation that a plus b sin theta equal to n lambda where lambda equal to a plus b sin theta for first order diffraction and for calculations we use a plus b uh, as uh, if we have a grating of uh, 15,000 lines per inch then we will uh, we can change it in centimeter by 1 inch equal to 2.54 centimeter so a plus b will be 2.54 divided by 15,000 lines per centimeter and for n equal to 1 we can find out lambda equal to 2.54 divided by 15,000 into sin theta and sin theta we can find out for different colors suppose violet or red or green we can get the readings from both side of burner scale and then we take the uh, uh, average value from both sides of the barriers. So now we will discuss the viper questions. And first question is very basic that what is the diffraction of light? So it is the bending of light near the edges of an obstacle or a slit and it is spread in the region of geometrical shadow. If this uh, opening is D here should be the shadow should be here in the central region but we get the fringes or the pattern in this uh, region of shadow also so this is known as the diffraction of light and the condition for diffraction is that the size of the obstacle or slit d should be equivalent to the order of the wavelength t should be equivalent to lambda then we will get the diffraction what is the plane transmission grating? So it is a um, flat glass plate on which large number of equidistant parallel lines are, are ruled by very fine diamond pen or by diamond tip. And when white light passes through uh, this, this grating, then we can see different orders of diffraction pattern on both sides uh, and on uh, we will see the zeroth order that is the central maxima or bright central bright but we will see the uh, different colors uh, here uh, on left side and right hand side also we will see the first order bibgior and then if we move the eyepiece or telescope uh, on our left we will see again the second order and the order will be decided by the wavelength of and the grating element so this is uh, the plane transmission grating and what is the grating element a plus b so it is the distance between the center of two successive ruled lines or transparent strips so if it is uh, this opening is b and the opaque part is a so a plus b is known as the grating element and if there are usually 15,000 lines per inch so grating element d equal to a plus b that is 2.54 divided by 15,000 centimeter and this grating element determines the maximum order of diffraction we will see by one example later so next question is what is the difference between prism and grating spectrum in grating spectrum violet color is least deviated and red color is most deviated but in case of the prism it is reversed why does red color deviate the most in the case of grating it is because of this equation 
a plus b sin theta equal to n lambda. So sin theta is directly proportional to n lambda by a plus b. So sin theta is directly proportional to lambda and lambda is highest for the red color. That's why the deviation is highest for the red color in grating. In prism or grating, which gives the more intense spectrum? Prism gives more intense spectrum because the entire light is concentrated into one spectrum. While in case of the grating, the light is distributed in the grating spectra of different orders. So in prism, we will get only one spectrum. So all the intensity is focused in this. Whereas in case of the grating, we we can see that we have zero order, first order, second order. There are different orders are there. So that's why prism spectra is intense. Why the light incident on the side of grating, which is has no ruling? So it is to avoid the refraction of the diffracted light. Why the grating is kept normal to the incident parallel beam of light? It is because that this formula is valid only when a parallel beam of light uh, strikes the grating normally or at 90 degree. If 15,000 LPI is written over the grating, what does it mean? So it means that there are 15,000 lines per inch drawn on this grating. Why the red color is diffracted most in case of the grating? The angle of diffraction is directly proportional to wavelength. So red light has highest wavelength. So it is diffracted most. So the next question is how many orders you will get for the grating with 15,000 lines per inch in visible spectra. So we know the grating equation is a plus b sine theta equal to n lambda and this value will be maximum uh, for sine theta equal to 1 because the sine theta has maximum value of 1 for 90 degree or pi by 2. So maximum order n maximum will be a plus b by lambda because sine theta is equal to 1. And for white light or visible light we take the uh, uh, wavelength range from 4000 angstrom to 7000 angstrom roughly and if you calculate put the value of lambda in this equation we can find out the n maximum so if we put uh, a plus b as 2.54 divided by 15000 and uh, lambda equal to 4000 angstrom means 4000 to 10 to the power minus 8 centimeter then we will get now for 4000 angstrom it is 6.7 so we will take only the integer value so maximum order is 6 for lambda equal to 4000 angstrom using uh, this grating. Similarly, if uh, for the uh, highest wavelength 7000 angstrom lambda, we will n maximum can we we can take 2.5 divided 54 divided by 15000 into 7000 into 10 to the power minus 8 centimeter. So all in centimeter, so it is 2.4. So if we take the integer value, it is maximum order is 2. So using this 7000 angstrom we can take uh, only uh, two orders of diffraction so uh, using the grating element or and lambda we can find out the maximum order of diffraction so next question is we take the first order diffraction for the measurement because it is of high in highest intensity higher orders of spectrums are weaker. So that's why we take the first order diffraction. And what are the essential parts of a spectrometer? So spectrometer have three main parts, collimeter to make the beams parallel, a prism table for putting the uh, grating or prism and the telescope to see the spectrum. So what are the essential parts of a telescope? A telescope consists of an objective lens and eyepiece and it is mounted in uh, brass tubes and objective lenses combination of two lenses for finalizing the image. What is eyepiece? It is the combination of two lenses separated by a distance to get the final image without any defect. And what type of eyepiece is used in spectrometer and why? And uh, in spectrometer, Ramsden eyepiece is used mostly because it removes the chromatic aberration or the color distortion in an image. And it has two plano convex lines and the convex side facing towards each other. 
and they are of equal focal length and their separation is about 2 by 3rd of the focal length. Why two burners are used in this experiment? Because we can see one burner scale is here and one is here. So uh, to remove the errors in the measurement, the average of the two burner readings are used for the calculations or for observations. So how you will check whether the reading noted from the two burners are correct? The difference between readings of two burners should be nearly 180 degree then we can say that our reading is correct. So next question is what are differences in the diffraction and dispersion of light? So diffraction happens with the uh, transmission diffraction grating and, and dispersion happens with the prism. So diffraction is where light spreads out after passing through a narrow gap or slits and it gives the uh, diffraction or interference pattern and in dispersion the light of different frequencies or different colors, it reflects by different amounts or different deviates. So in case of the prism, uh, the light of different colors are deviated with different angle of deviation. So this is the dispersion of light and here it is diffraction of light. What is the resolving power of a grating? The resolving power of an instrument is known as its power to distinguish between two nearby objects. Suppose we have lambda and lambda plus d lambda two wavelengths then the resolving power r is defined at lambda defined by d lambda. And what will happen to resolving power of a grating if number of lines ruled on the grating increases. So in that case uh, the resolving power increases if capital N, the number of lines is increases because of this formula R equal to lambda by lambda equal to N into N. Small N is the order of diffraction and capital N number of lines on the slit. So if the number of lines are increasing, then the resolving power will be also increases. So what are the applications of grating? The, it can be used as monochromators. Grating is the best way to separate the light with different frequencies and it is most important component in spectroscopy for studying different spectrum. And in lasers it is used to produce a single color of laser and it is also very important in scientific and basic research and also there are some medical applications to analyze the wavelength of light emitted by the uh, damaged cell molecules in a biopsy sample. So these, these are the applications of diffraction grating. Okay, thanks for watching. And if you have any queries or suggestions, then please write in the comment box. And you can also write that on which topics you need the next video. And please subscribe, like and share to my channel and our previous video was based on the viber questions on newton's ring experiment and in next video we will discuss the viber questions on polarimeter experiment and this is my channel mukesh chandemri physics so please subscribe this channel thank you very much